Good afternoon, friends. Happy Wednesday to all of you. New relief proposals have been put forward by Congress. Lawmakers are now negotiating on sending $2,000 stimulus checks to low income households. The first batch of stimulus payments may go out as early as this week. Friends, this is your daily news report and Fort Stimulus Check update. Please make sure that you watch until the end of this video for all the details. Remember, friends, I'll be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card four days a week. To enter these giveaways, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. And in a video later today, I will be announcing today's winner. And please listen for the keywords and stay tuned for that video. For America over the years that we will badly miss you. Sweet because you'll get to spend more time with Marcel your children, your lovely grandchildren, and um, you deserve it. After all these great years of service, it's one of the most extraordinary records any senator has compiled in the history of this country. So thank you for your service and your continued service through uh, January of 2022. Now, on infrastructure. Um, yesterday, our country took a major step forward to prepare our economy for the challenges of the 21st century. As we all know, the American people have been told for years, for years, that another infrastructure bill was coming, one infrastructure week after another. But after yesterday, we can now tell the American people that an infrastructure law is here. The President signed it yesterday. The enactment of bipartisan infrastructure legislation is so long overdue. There isn't a community in America that doesn't have some glaring need. Crumbling roads, dilapidated schools, untrustworthy bridges, overburdened airports, seaports, and railways. The new infrastructure law will tackle these challenges head on. And I thank the President and my colleagues from both sides of the aisle, both sides of the aisle in making yesterday possible. The President's infrastructure bill can be summarized with a four-letter word. J-O-B-S, jobs, 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 more local jobs, more good paying jobs, more union jobs. Unions, as we know, have been a ladder up through the decades, and they will continue to be under this bill, as there will be more of them. And the jobs will put people to work on projects in every state and every community. In New York, my state, dependent on good transportation. Major undertakings like Gateway, the Cross Bronx Expressway, the Second Avenue Subway, I-81 in Syracuse, the North Inner Loop in Rochester, the list could go on and on and on. All of them will finally get going again. Have a great chance of that happening after years of paralysis. And the federal dollars that the government is sending to the states is already having an effect in my state. Amongst the proposal is Governor Tom Wolf's suggestion to send $2,000 stimulus checks to some state residents. The Pennsylvania Opportunity Program would put $500 million of the excess American Rescue Plan Act money towards helping American families with household incomes under $80,000 a year. However, many Republicans are critical of that plan, stating it could worsen inflation. Another proposal would offer grants to some homeowners and landlords to make home renovations on certain properties. The Whole Homes Repair Fund, which Republicans support, would help fix homes in the coal region before they collapse, ultimately saving the state tax dollars. Other projects and programs on the table for funding include higher education, paid family leave, and K-12 education and infrastructure, including school repairs. Both Republicans and Democrats have voiced their support of putting money towards environmental efforts including clean water projects, land preservation, state park repairs, and cleanup efforts. Maine's economic relief program is about to be put into effect, benefiting an estimated 850,000 residents of Maine. The first round of $5,850 relief checks has been sent out to Maine residents. This will be followed by waves of 200,000 checks per week in subsequent weeks. Governor Mills has signed the budget into law after overwhelming approval by the state legislature. However, friends, a potential shortage of envelopes threatened to delay the distribution of these checks. 
But Governor Mills' office said officials have secured what they needed to get the money out and expect the majority of people who have already filed their 2021 taxes will receive their money by mid-July. When it comes to student loan forgiveness, a Democratic lawmaker thinks that President Biden is not considering a large enough amount. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez told reporters this week, student loan forgiveness is a good example of this. We can't just pick up any arbitrary number, despite so many people wanting to do so. There's an actual level where wealth and equity starts to get reduced. Ocasio-Cortez is not the only Democrat to feel this way. About broad student loan relief, the conversation surrounding the matter is picking up. As most recent reports have suggested that President Biden is considering forgiving $10,000 in student debt for borrowers who are earning under $150,000 a year. Democrats are urging the president to make the most out of his opportunity and go big on relief. Friends, the key word for this video is Sarasota Beach. If you would like to enter today's Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is Sarasota Beach and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And do make sure that you're also subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, friends. Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren has long pushed for $50,000 in student loan forgiveness for all federal borrowers. And she has recently told the Philadelphia Inquirer that the amount isn't a random number. It was a number to get the most relief to the most people, Elizabeth Warren said. Insider reporter on data obtained from Elizabeth Warren's office that found that while Biden's proposed $10,000 in relief would zero out balances for 13 million borrowers, $50,000 in relief would do the same for 30 million or 76% of all federal borrowers. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders wants to even go bigger, urging President Biden on multiple occasions to cancel all student debt in the country. The White House has yet to confirm any amount of student loan relief, giving Democrats more time to push for an amount of relief that they think would be best. Meanwhile, Republicans are pushing against any relief at all, arguing wiping out student debt would exacerbate inflation at the cost of U.S. taxpayers. But still, Education Secretary Miguel Cardona has told reporters two weeks ago that while a decision on relief has not yet been made, the Education Department is prepared to implement whatever it might be. Well, my amazing and fantastic friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Thank you, everyone, and have a wonderful and blessed Wednesday afternoon.